good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. I am freezing, absolutely freezing, but an exciting morning. Um, Coco has just done her first round jumping on Hooch um, since he had his awful accident in December and do you know the relief I'm feeling? Um, yeah, so, so pleased for both of them. We have um, taken it really slowly. He, um, had an accident just before Christmas. Um, if you're new, you won't know about it, but um, but but many of you do because I sort of shared it with you. But we've taken it so slowly, and she's just done one clear round. And I said, slow, steady. I don't want you racing. It was. It, she listened. She listened to me because it's not easy. He gets in there and he lights up and he just wants to go. So that was um, really, really exciting. So I came up and watched. But something that's a bit sad, a bit sad. Um, this is my last, my last, I want to say hurrah, in my car. And he nearly didn't let me bring it this morning. He said, can you bring mine instead? And I said, no, <laughs> no, don't do that to me. I think many of you know how attached I am to my beloved car. And I shared a couple of weeks ago about upgrading it because I've had it for seven years. I'm just gonna wave size driving past. Um, I've had it for seven years and um, lots and lots of reasons, but we are changing this car, we are changing his car. I have got a new car which is going to be known as The Beast, which has been ordered, which hopefully is going to come sooner than expected. But this is going sooner than expected too, which is actually heartbreaking and I think Coco and I almost cried this morning and she said mummy don't let it go we've sold it to a friend of ours um and he asked months ago when I said that we were thinking of, reluctantly about changing the car he said well if you do please can I have a first refusal on it and they are coming to, um, they're coming tomorrow. So I've got my own number plate on this car and size so just told me that the number plates, the original number plates for this car are ready and he's going to pick them up now. So it's all, it's all quite real. I've, um, Simon's going to take it to get it cleaned this afternoon. And it's very sad that this is our last kind of horsey, horsey adventure, but at least it's been a happy one. This car is just the best. I was talking to somebody the other day about it and it is perfect. It's absolutely perfect in every single which way. But, um, yeah, it's going and the beast will be coming at some point. Um, and it's, there's, oh gosh, I probably won't bore you with all the ins and outs of it, but they do get to a point where things can start to go wrong and they can start to cost a lot of money. And, I don't want to be in that position so that's kind of the reason for the change although I would keep it forever if if I could but Simon has told me that that's not sensible darling so anyway and he has got an electric car which is coming imminently he's actually going to be traveling a lot over the next couple of weeks so I'm also kind of solo parenting for a while um so I think I'm not exactly sure when the electric car is coming he has done a lot of research. I basically left the whole thing to him. I'm also leaving Coco <laughs> to do everything while I chat to you guys. But Coco wanted to come. She's very keen to come. And I said, do you know what, darling? You can get up and you can do it all. Because I think it's really important. Like when she was younger, I would be up there washing the ponies, scrubbing the ponies. I would give her breakfast and she'd just sort of toss her out and not have done that much. This morning, she said, mommy, will you wake me up? 6.45. And I said, no. You can set your own alarm and you can get yourself up. And she actually came into our room. I was still just in bed. I was awake. My alarm had gone off. I was awake and I said, right, quick, quick, something to eat and go and get your pony ready. And she did absolutely everything, which, um, which is good. I did lunch him before we came here. So I did that bit because he's so naughty. He, um, he's out in the paddock now and he did not want to be caught yesterday at all and Coco we had yesterday was quite a busy day we had Gus 
had a singing, um, there was a concert at his school and Gus was singing um, a solo, which was really lovely. The concert went on for a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Um, and then Coco's school had a quiz night last night and that went on for quite a lot longer than anticipated too. And we got into bed at midnight. Um, so when we got back, Coco actually went to a friend's from school while we were at the quiz night. Gus had a babysitter at home. We picked Coco up on the way back. We thought the quiz was going to finish at like 10. It didn't. It finished at quarter to 11. And so we went, picked Coco up, came back. And at quarter past 11 last night, she, she caught Hooch and put him in a stable. She said, Mama, I won't sleep a wink if we haven't caught him. I don't think I would have done either. So dear Coco, I didn't even know what she was doing. I um. She wanted to wash something up at the yard ready for today. And I said, you can't wash it now. Darling, I'm chatting. I said, you can't wash it now because it won't be dry in time. And he can't, um, he wears ears when he show jumps and he always has done. I said, if he has wet ears, he'll be more unhappy wearing those. So don't wash them. But she disappeared when we got home and she came back triumphantly. I've got him and he's in his stable. So that was, that was very good. Anyway, the rest of the day is going to be quite gentle, to be honest, because I am tired. I'm really tired. I haven't been, didn't sleep brilliantly last week. And um, we're just gonna have a gentle day. Gus has got a friend coming over this afternoon. So I is going to be at the office and getting this car cleaned, although, I will probably go with him to get the car cleaned and bring him back and leave it with them for a couple of hours because they need to do a full valet. It's pretty revolting. Um, and yeah, so it's just kind of a quiet weekend. But I thought I'd start this week's vlog early and talk to you about the car and the pony and all that jazz rather than kind of filling you in after the event. I think it's better when it's real. I wanted to talk to you this morning before her round, but um, it was actually too cold. And again, there's loads of people out there, although they're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing sitting here talking to my phone right now. Anyway, we're gonna load each up. We're going to go home. Actually, there's a catering van over there that does really, really good bacon rolls. So I think I'm gonna go and get a bacon roll um, before we go home rather than doing breakfast. Um, at home and so I was also doing a food shop this morning which is excellent because I completely ran out of time to do a food shop yesterday or the day before so um he's in charge of that department luckily we were, we've just been living of things from the freezer which is a really really handy thing to have a well-stocked freezer and then if you're tight on time it doesn't matter Simon is polishing my car ready for tomorrow He's uh, been very busy today. The number plates will be going on. Are you changing the number plates? Yeah, I've got the new plates, yeah. Uh, Are you doing that? Well, it's easy enough to do. Easy enough to do. Even for my... Even, even for your... <laughs> You're not Mr. DIY, are you, Papa? Oh, I could have been. You could have been. <laughs> but you been. chose not to be. Chose not to be. You leave it to me, don't you? Try to. What, did you give me one Christmas? I think a, a, a saw or a screwdriver or something like that. I can't remember. It might have been electric. Yes, I've had a I've had a toolbox, oh, and I've had an electric drill spoiled. and screwdriver. Spoiled. I am spoiled, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've picked up the um, the other car. Actually, let me just I'll take you down and show you. So this is a sporty little number that we are um, just using. Um, in fact, Audi have kindly let us have it. It's a TT. No, it's not the one we're getting. We're just um, using it until Daddy's new car is ready. Sporty little TT. Um, actually, it's quite fun to drive, but the school run, it's locked, so I can't show you. I don't know if you can see because of the reflection. No, you can just see me. Um, the back, basically, no, you can't see. The back seats are so small, I don't know how I'm going to get the children in. Um, to do the school run because I pick up two other children and I don't think they're going to fit in. But on other notes, look at that little bird box up there. Archie made that in DT 
I'm trying to zoom in and I've got my gloves on and the dogs are barking. Archie made that in DT at prep school and we popped it up there and I was sitting in the car the other day and I saw a bird come out which is very very exciting. I just spoke to Archie on the phone and told him that his bird box is in use and he um, had a big smile on his face so it's very very lovely to see and I also approve of the colour that he painted it. Anyway I'm now going to go and muck out the horse's paddocks. for a really lovely ride with my girl and we've just met up with her friends and their mum and just had a really really lovely long hack a few canters and it's been gorgeous it's very very cold and actually this is a lovely way to end today because it's been a bit of an emotional one the end of an era my car has gone our friends that I bought it, came and picked it up and oh, I did promise I wouldn't cry in front of them. I actually haven't cried but I am, yes, <laughs> pretty upset about it but it's, it's fine. It's fine, it's time for change and so I was like, you know, darling, our babies are growing up. That car served us so well when they were tiny because you could get three car seats across the middle row because there's two seats in the back. So. It worked really, really well and um, yeah, it's time, time to move on, time to change. Let's go. Um, and Colin's a little bit fresh, a little bit fresh, but um, Angie has been a very good boy. He did do PF all the way down the lane. I felt like I was sitting on a time bomb, which is going over the river and heading, heading home, size away tonight i think he's back late tomorrow night and then later in the week he is heading off to america so um yeah there's quite a lot going on i've got my little sports car to do the school run in, in the morning which is going to be um yeah interesting <laughs> coco's got so much stuff she's got cricket tomorrow evening she's got three in all his bags hopefully i can fit them all in anyway i am going to concentrate because in a moment we've got to go through a really narrow gate we actually call it the naughty gate it's jolly tricky and it swings and catches you if you're not careful so i will chat to you tomorrow now hi i have been terrible at vlogging yesterday gussie had um, a day off school not because he was ill but it was a long weekend for him and so i tried to make the most of um, him being around and being a good mummy. I actually had to work um, until lunchtime and then I had the rest of the afternoon off and I was hoping I was going to have some time to vlog in the morning but um, it was one of those days. We actually had BT open reach here. I wasn't expecting them. They just knocked on the door and said we need to recite the, the, the cables. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that ended up um, taking quite a lot of time and they had to disconnect the Wi-Fi and ugh, all of that stuff. At the moment, things seem to be okay. They've done some things with the router and it does seem to be working well. So everything crossed um, that we have plain sailing now with the Wi-Fi. I, it's now quarter past four. I have had a really full on day. I am filming a new course that isn't coming out until the autumn and I have spent pretty much all day in the kitchen with my lovely, lovely friend Charlie because I find it easier when I'm filming courses and I'm trying to do lots of cooking in one day to have an extra pair of hands. And so we have been doing that today. I've also got a cold, which is not ideal. So I'm not feeling on tip top, but, um, but I'm not feeling terrible. I'm just a little bit brain foggy and um, coldy, which is just irritating. But anyway, it has been a productive day. I am feeling pretty cream cracker, to be honest. I just have gone, I'm waiting for something to chill before I can finish off filming that bit. And then, um, yeah, but um, I knew if I didn't film this course now, 
it wasn't actually going to happen this year. <laughs> I know that sounds totally bonkers. And I have been filming it for a while and I'm not gonna give too much info away at the moment, but um, there's, there's quite a lot to it. So um, it takes time and I'm trying to sort of slot it in around you know everything else that's going on. But I've got some goodies that have arrived that I thought I would share with you now, which is quite exciting. Um, this has come from the Flat Lay Company. They got in touch via Instagram and actually it's so beautifully packaged that I thought I would share it with you and show you how absolutely gorgeous it is. Um, they have sent a sweet card. I love their colour scheme. Hey Charlie, we hope you love your Flat Lay, um, Flat Lay Company bags with love from the Flat Lay Co team. It's Flat Lay Co, not company. Um, gorgeous ribbon. I love um, beautiful packaging and lovely paper. So let's have a look and see what they have sent in here. Goodies to play with. packaging sage green velvet so they asked me to choose something that I loved and um, so this is what we've got oh it feels beautiful really beautiful so these are really clever makeup bags that and actually we've got a few trips coming up so I thought that they would be really useful and actually going to move you down so you can see and we've got the Kenwood out we've got all sorts of things going on so I need to have a good play with this and I will share it with you in action so this squidges in like all the way in um, and you put all your bits squidge, yeah it does go all the way in so it does up like that and then you've got like this little handle um pocket on the front and then it's really clever inside it's just completely open it up so you've then got like a surface to grab from with all your bits you can put your brushes in here and it's got a little pouch for sort of special bits this is wipeable which is really really handy so that is going to be actually super useful and they've got lots of kind of, they show you exactly how to use it and that is really, really clever. So I think that's going to be very, very useful when I am going um, away. And I think the colour is simply gorgeous and they've also sent something else. So let's see what we've got in here. Oh, really clever. Sage green velvet um, standing brush holder and case. And I think actually these are really handy when you're traveling. Like my makeup bag is very bulky and takes up a lot of space. So that goes with this beautifully and then you can just slot your brushes in there and I love the fact that you can wipe these clean because there's nothing worse than your makeup bag getting you know dirty and grimy so those are really gorgeous and I will share with you we're not going away for a little while a good few weeks but when we are and I'm packing I will show you these in action so a huge thank you to the Flat Lake Co um, London for sending me these and they really are um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful velvet um, and gorgeous colour. So a big thank you. And then a really thoughtful delivery in here. This is from Karen Rose. And I met Karen at the Rare Brand Market last year. And Karen has got um, a business called Martlet Bears, bespoke handmade bears. And I will leave 
her details linked down below. But she has made this for me and I'm so touched by it. I haven't seen it yet, but let's get in the box. With a gorgeous bow on the front. I hope you like the little Ask Charlie Bear. Wishing you all the best with your membership venture, Karen. Oh, that is so, so lovely of her. Um, she got in touch and said, quite out of the blue, and said, Charlie, I've made something for you. Can I have your address? And, um, oh, oh um, it's a certificate that comes with the bear. She's so thoughtful. She's she was such a lovely lady to meet. I really enjoyed seeing her. Oh, she's making me feel really emotional. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't cry um, on this week's video. Look, it's an Ask Charlie bear, and look, she knows I love blue and white, and it says AC on there. I think that is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Karen, thank you. She's honestly such a lovely lady and she makes bespoke bears. So if, for example, you've got somebody that's in the military, she can make the, the uniform to match their regiment, which I just think is, well, she's really, really clever. Um, and that is just gorgeous. My AC there to celebrate my membership, which, it has been just so exciting. And I think actually the reason why I've got a cold is I got overexcited last week and didn't sleep brilliantly because I had too much whizzing around my mind. Simon's been away and it's just been kind of full on crazy. We, um, well, I think I told you we um, uh, earlier in this vlog that we had the quiz night, which was a late night and I was up early because Coco was show jumping and just got kind of overtired and run down. So I've been trying to have early nights and look after myself. So I actually came back quite late-ish last night, um, but I made sure I had a hot bath and um, tried to not go to bed crazy late. And I didn't set my alarm to get up really early this morning. I brought all the horses in last night because the weather it got so cold and so miserable. They may be able to stay out tonight, but I just didn't want them getting wet and cold and like it's properly cold to the core. So um, I had three stables to muck out before this sort of crazy um, cook-a-thon that I've been doing today. But tomorrow's not so crazy, which is, which is good. And um, then yeah it's just been a bit, bit been a bit full on but the membership honestly it's so exciting um i am really kind of blown away by um everybody that's joined and support and kindness and camaraderie that we're going to have going forward it's really hugely exciting so this is very 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 special a massive thank you to Karen for sending it and I will leave Karen's details linked down below um, do go and check her out because she's she's a special person I did buy a few things in London last week which I promised I would share with you and actually I'm going to share those with you tomorrow because I am pooped and we've got a concert at school this evening so I'm going to just finish filming this recipe for the course that's coming out later in the year phone ringing I'll be back in a sec that was my husband um ringing about the concert this evening so he's back for a couple of nights he's then off again and I never sleep very well when he goes so I slightly dread it and he's away until um later on next week he literally comes back and then we head straight down to Cheltenham so I think it's going to be me doing the driving because he's going to be tired and jet lagged um but a massive massive thank you to all of you that um left comments about outfits for Cheltenham. I really, really appreciate it. Seriously kind of you. Um, thank you very much. I am testing the mascaras and I think tomorrow I'm going to be sharing with you my verdict. So I've tried three, which may sound excessive, but I got three 
separately, different times. And I've done, two, well, I'm on day one of the third one. And so I'm gonna share with you my verdict tomorrow, but actually I think this one might be the clear winner so far. Um, I've put it through its paces. I have cried chopping shallots. I have been outside in the rain. It's still staying put. It was really easy to apply and um, I'm not gonna give you a close up of my face because I'm feeling tired and coldy, but I really like it. So that is good. There's another one which I quite liked, number one, but um, not quite such a dramatic look. Like fine for like every day, but if I put mascara on, I kind of want it to make a difference. The second one I tried was a little bit disappointing, like really exciting, but then a bit disappointing, but I will run you through the full verdict tomorrow. I am gonna finish doing this recipe and I am actually going to try and lie down for half an hour before going off to the concert and just try and rest for a moment. And then hopefully a relatively early night, but this bear is very, very special. And I um, am really, really touched by it. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look, 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 an AC bear for the members club. Ah, oh, um, I can't, I cannot think straight today. Our um, mascot is the word I'm thinking of. Our mascot. Oh. So lovely. <laughs> From my sporty little number, that is what we are referring to, um, this, this little car. It is so tiny. I have just managed to get three children in to do the school run, but it was a squash and a squeeze. And I just bumped into a friend who actually thought that this was my new car. And I was like, no, it's the most unpractical thing in the entire world. Um, but, but, it's unpractical for me because obviously we've got five dogs and three children and horses and what have you. <clears throat> it is a great little car. And my only criticism would be the, um, the sound quality on the car phone is terrible. Maybe because you're quite, I don't know, you're quite low to the ground. But I was having a chat with a friend who said the, the sound was terrible. But it drives beautifully and Gus did some filming this morning, which you would have just seen. <laughs> it's been very snowy in Sussex. It's not so snowy anymore. It, uh, the temperature's risen, but um, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see behind me. There's a tiny bit of snow on the ground. And I was a little bit nervous that this might be slippy and slidey 
in, you know, snowy conditions. But it's perfect. I don't know what wheel drive it is. I don't know if it's four wheel drive. I mean, I'm not sure that an Audi TT is a four wheel drive um, at all. But it didn't, I didn't feel um, unsafe at all and I had to do it's actually been quite a morning I had to do the back roads because there were traffic lights I didn't know that there were traffic lights there was just mega traffic and lots of cars were turning around so I decided that we were either going to be horrifically late for school or I was going to do the back roads and I went for the back roads in this little sporty number and it was absolutely fine. Years ago, I had a BMW um, that was rear wheel drive and that in these conditions, is not fun to drive. But this is very nice. It has got some great acceleration too. Not that I've been speeding, I, I don't do that, but I have put my foot down and just, you know, felt it go, which is quite exciting. Um, and Yes, last night's concert, and actually Coco said I can share a little snippet with you, um, was really, really lovely. So when I left you yesterday, I said that I was going to go and have a little lie down before the concert. I had temporarily forgotten that I had a Zoom meeting um, with Tish, who works for me, about the members club. She's been away. She's now back and we were having a catch up. So I didn't go and have a little lie down. I had a Zoom meeting with her, but actually it was so exciting what we were chatting about that it perked me up no end. So I didn't need to lie down. Sometimes you just need a kind of change of situation and it re revitalizes you to keep going. So that was that was good it was a really good chat good catch up and then I headed off to the concert and listened to Coco um, playing her flute and singing and the song that she sung was a last minute change so she only had a few days to practice and uh, prepare for it so she hadn't learnt the words she had learnt the words but she didn't feel 100% confident so she did have them written down um, but that was very special and actually the words in the song that she sang I felt really kind of poignant and and special so um, yes I hope that you enjoy a little snippet of that and what else I've got actually there were some things I forgot to talk to you about yesterday so I'm going to I suddenly finished chatting to you and then realized that I'd missed I'd missed a whole bit and I think I don't feel bad but I don't feel a hundred percent you can probably hear that I'm just I'm a bit you know head coldy and so I'm less on the ball than normal to be honest but I'm going to go inside, but I just thought I should show you. I've actually just had to pop and get um, some coconut oil. I need to make some granola today. But can you see? So we had to get this seat formed this morning, which was a little challenging. Um, not much leg room back there. So, um, yes, you wouldn't really want an adult. But, you know, family of four, not much luggage, no pets. Very nice car. Right, I am showered and ready for the day. I have gone for really, really snuggly jumper because it's horrid out there. Most of the snow has melted, but it is wet. It is horrible. I have got the fire lit. <laughs> um, I say we're, we're all snuggling. Me and, and the dogs are snuggling <laughs> in the house. But I promised I'd show you what I bought last week in London. Um, this. You guys know I love blue, and I just thought that that would be perfect. Bosco summer. Oh, size just got back. Um, I just thought it was a really, really pretty colour and just lovely to kind of throw on over things. So I was quite pleased with that. That is from Hush. And actually, Hush had loads of great things. I could have got quite carried away. And then, not so exciting. Well, I think it's exciting. Um, a new nighty from Zara Home. Zara Home. I need to go and let him in. I'm back in a tick. I'm back with you. Um, yes, he left his keys here this morning. Um, yes, Zara Home has some really, really lovely things. And this is a long nightdress. This top part is cotton. But this part is a really lovely jersey. And I just thought it was simple and lovely. And actually I've really got in 
to 90s and I wish the weather was slightly warmer and I could try this on so I'm out of breath. I think when you've got a cold and you rush, I didn't want him standing out of the cold for too long so I ran downstairs and then beetled back up to chat to you but I promised we would talk mascaras. I haven't put any mascara on yet but these are the three that I've been trying. So um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. This one is excellent, the Estee Lauder one. It definitely doesn't smudge, it definitely stays put, it's easy to remove, but it doesn't give mega volume. It's okay, it's like pretty average, it's not like, wow, this is amazing mascara, this makes such a difference. It's good, it's good, and sort of for like every day, perfectly fine. Then this one, um, and these are on recommendations I had from all sorts of people. I had re recommendations on, um, I don't think I did on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. I had people that emailed messages um, with recommendations. I had all sorts and I sort of pulled them all together and went with, with uh, you know, the majority. This one is by a company called Bella. Wonderlash Ultimate Extreme Drama. Now this was sent to me by somebody on Instagram that saw Does My Bum Look 40 <laughs> recommending this. The volume, the drama is phenomenal, but the stay putness doesn't pass the Charlie test. Now the Charlie test is probably quite extreme. The Charlie test has to deal with wet weather, dog walks, um, probably on the muck heap, um, cooking, so you know, the steam coming out of the oven, um, the agar in my case, or boiling things. You know, I put it through its paces and this did drop a little bit. I tried it for two days. This is probably, and I will, I will keep trying it because the volume is mega. And, 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 and. Okay, the packaging. It is with hemp extract, which conditions and hydrates, um, black currant, which promotes thickness, and jojoba, which promotes lash growth. So, in terms of kind of, um, what's in it, this is pretty good uh, from the research that I've done. And it definitely is mega, mega, mega. However, I did have to get a cotton bud. I don't like to use cotton buds too often, but these are totally recyclable, there's no plastic. I did have to come up twice during the day and do that, which is a bit irritating. Now this one, Lydia Millen uses and I do for makeup certainly absolutely rate her recommendations she always looks amazing and this mascara she swears by it's called Swede it is um hang on I've kept I kept all the packaging um longer lashes lifting effect volume and it is made in Germany it um, but it's a Swedish company, which I will link down below. It definitely is mega. Sweep upwards from the very root to the top of your lashes to achieve a lengthening, a full lengthening effect. This went, was really, really put through its paces. I only worn it once, which was yesterday. And I basically cooked from 10.30 till... 5.30, pretty much non-stop. I went out in the rain to turn the horses out because we had the farrier um, and it was, you know, it was horrid weather. I, you know, had all the steam, I was frantic and it absolutely didn't budge. And I really love how my lashes look with it. So I thought I would put it on with you and show it to you. So I'm just pop these. Over there. So I've brought you up close and I thought that I would put it on with you. 
can see my dumping ground of clothes there. So it's brush isn't what you would expect. Basically on one side are little bristly bits and I'm sorry I had to get quite close to you. Um, I actually find it really difficult to do into the camera. So I might stop and do it up there and come back. I'm gonna stop, I'm just gonna do it up there and come back because actually my eyes are starting to water coming up so close. So back in a sec. So there we are, mascara applied. And I, I love the way it looks. I think it's really great. Price wise, um, they were kind of much of muchness. I know that there were lots of people that recommended um, L'Oreal mascara. I haven't actually managed to get anywhere that sells um, um, L'Oreal mascaras. Um, probably, I don't, I don't think our local chemist does. I've had, to, would have to go slightly further afield. The joys of living in the sticks. I ordered this one online and I ordered the Bella online and this one I got in John Lewis's when I was up in London last Wednesday. Coco loves mascara so these won't go to waste and I will definitely be trying the Bella for um, you know the evening because the drama is amazing but I will I will put it through its paces a little bit more because it didn't fall off badly it wasn't bad but I did need to touch up and I'm the sort of person that once I put my makeup on I don't want to have to look in the mirror and check it throughout the day, I just want to know that it's there and it's staying put and I look okay, might need to touch up some lip gloss, but there isn't time for, um, you know, for, for, for checking regularly. But this Swede is very, very good. So that is my take on mascaras. And size so here, I don't know how long he's gonna be here for, he's come back for lunch. I am, I've got a couple of his jumpers that I need to wash. All of his washing, apart from these two jumpers, is uh, done. He suddenly sprung them on me um, earlier. And then I will, I've got some things downstairs to show you, but it's not so easy with him um, tinkering around, trying to get ready to go. He's got loads on his plate today. Um, so yes, I'll be back with you again soon. Hi. I didn't have time to talk to you before I went off to watch Coco's netball match. So I came back, as you know, I went to let him in and then actually he needed me to do various, various things. And then he sweetly said that he was going to the post office and were there any parcels to post? And I said, yes. So I got those already. And then I went off and watched Coco's netball tournament. Luckily it was inside because the weather is disgusting. So all the snow has melted. We now have torrential rain. It is hideous, really, really hideous. But when I went out with Gussie on Monday um, for our afternoon out, one of the things we're looking for is a new bedside table, like a small chest of drawers slash bedside table for his bedroom because his little bedside table he's got was actually arches as a baby and it's too small and it's breaking so that needed replacing so we just stopped at stable antiques in storrington because they are <clears throat> a treasure tro trove of all sorts of wonderful things we stopped in there we didn't find what we were looking for for gus's bedroom however we did find this And I'm very, very excited about her. So it's quite a long story. I make quite a lot of sourdough. In fact, here is a loaf right here, half a loaf. And I do it in a Dutch oven. Let me come down. I do it in a Dutch oven and I do it in my big Le Creuset, but it's circular. And actually I wanted this sort of shape. So I've been looking online. The Le Creuset ones, I can't remember how much they are, but they are horrifically expensive. And this was £20. It is solid. It doesn't have a maker's mark on it, but it's very solid and it's going to be perfect for the job. And also I can roast a chicken and I can do other things in it. So it will be useful. And then this arrived yesterday. I haven't even opened it. Um, let's open it now. 
so when I prove my sourdough in the fridge before it goes into the Dutch oven, into the Arga, I've only got circular ones of these. And actually, I don't use that bit. I just use them like that. So this is going to be really handy because it fits inside there. Perfectly made. So I'm very pleased with that little bargain. And for the members club for March, we are making a sourdough starter from scratch. And then I'm showing them how to make a loaf, um, either using bread machine or with this method, obviously the circular one, because I hadn't found this. But I am so thrilled I found this because it's an absolute bargain. They, you know, this will last me for years and they are jolly expensive. And you want something that's thick um, and, and solid. I have seen, but again, I couldn't find them. I did look online. Um, Falcon, who make these, um, this one's really strange and old, do you do a kind of similar shaped pot. I have seen those, but they're a lot thinner and you really want kind of heavy cast iron for the job. So... That is very exciting. Something that's not so exciting is my darling husband has failed to get an appointment with the barber. Um, Dan, our lovely hairdresser that comes here, isn't due for about 10 days. And Sai has decided that he wants to have his hair cut before he goes to America. And he said, darling, will you do it for me? And I absolutely hate, 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 hate with a passion cutting hair but I'm going to be a nice wife. The clippers are on charge there. Don't tell him, but they've got some of Cass's hair on from the last time I trimmed her up. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, God. Don't worry, I'll clean them, darling. But they haven't got ticks in them. She hasn't got any ticks. I'll clean them. Um, so the next thing I'm going to tackle is um, size hair. I have just taken his jumpers down from the Argo. I need to put them back up. This is his old, much loved, favourite ratty one with holes, which I should be a good wife and patch them, but actually he gets through jumpers so quickly that I kind of don't bother. But we're going to hang these up here. And you haven't packed yet, have you, darling? No. No. Would you like me to help? No. No. <laughs> I'm willing if you want. The size idea of packing is just throwing it all in um, and then it doesn't close so I may end up helping him but we're going to cut his hair now. Darling are you ready for a haircut? Yeah but I'm not being filmed. Yes but I'm not being filmed. Fair enough. So I will see you later when I've cut his hair and fingers crossed hopefully it's a success. Haircut complete. <laughs> what do you think? He was quite naughty. I have rules, don't I, when I'm cutting hair? What are they? Don't talk and don't move. <laughs> yes. I can't, I can't multitask. I can't talk to, to you while I'm cutting my hair. So it's silence and do not move. And I'll, then, and then you've got the giggles. <laughs> Otherwise I start to look like something who laughs for the Mohicans. <laughs> yes, exactly. Anyway, good job. Ready for Boston. Ready for Boston. <laughs> right. Well, oh, that is done such relief. I find it really stressful. I get a little bit shaky and so I was like, well, aren't you going to use scissors? Aren't you going to do this? Aren't you going to do that? Shh, shut up. Don't talk. You know the rules. <laughs> anyway, phew, that is done. And everybody is fed. It is actually 6.15 and we're going to have a really, really early night, which sounds blissful. So I um, had a business call <laughs> during the haircut and has managed to put hair from here into the drawing room where he goes for his quiet business chats. Um, he was talking to uh, two customers in America. So it's a Boston seafood show, which is the reason why he's going over. So he was talking to two, uh, two suppliers, I should say, that he's meeting up with. Um, he actually had both of them on the phone at the same time. So there is hair everywhere. So before I go up and have a bath, I'm going to whisk the hoof around. I'm going to say goodnight to you. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Um, but yes, thank goodness that haircut is done.
few, few, few. And I was using new clippers. I bought these, my last pair, if you've watched um, a hair cutting from ages ago in lockdown, I cut size hair and filmed how to do it or how I do it. Very different. I have a very different method to the hairdressers. Um, but I bought these. I don't know if I showed you these when I was clipping Cassie. I don't know if I purchased them then. But they're master clip, um, little mini clippers, and then they come with the different attachments. Um, uh, so you can grade it from, you know, whatever the grade is. So actually those are really, really good because my last pair I had had for years and they were very, very blunt. So, and I bought these, I think I have shared these with you. I bought these with spare set of blades, which I think is always a jolly good idea. So I've got a spare set of blades so I can change those and send them off to get them sharpened. So anyway, I'm gonna whisk the vacuum around and then we're all going to have a really, really early night. Cause what time are you leaving, darling? Seven? Seven. So it's not a ridiculously early start. All the horses are in their stables because the weather is so filthy. So I've got <laughs> lots of mucking out to do in the morning, but that's fine. It's a good workout. And I'm pretty impressed with how the mascara is holding up. It um, has not fallen off my face and I think it still looks okay. But anyway, good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning. Simon has left. He um, actually, he rang me when he got to the airport. He said, darling, you'll never believe it. The, the car that drove him to the airport, he was chatting to the driver. And it turns out that he was at school with my uncle, my uncle's best friend, and um, knew my grandfather because um, granddad would go and play, um, I think, cricket with him. And he remembered him well, which is really, really lovely. So I said, gosh, it's such a small world. Anyhow, he has gone. It is pretty horrid out there. I've actually got my hat and gloves and coat by the Arga drying. I've got a hot cuppa and um, I thought I'd just chat to you quickly about something that, that I was thinking about last night. I um, <clears throat> am being interviewed for something, which I, I'll tell you more about in a few months when it comes out. And I was thinking last night as I was getting ready for bed, we had a really lovely early night, which was good, about what I was going to talk about. And I didn't know exactly which way the conversation was going. And it, I was thinking about things literally as I was brushing my teeth. And the thing that I was thinking about was this. Um, I was thinking about my husband and actually how wonderful he is. Because... I was looking back kind of on my life and 20 years ago when I was in London working my boss employed me because he felt sorry for me because I was such a sort of nervous scared timid individual and he told me that years later after our wedding <laughs> and I was just thinking about the love and kindness from my husband and his support and his encouragement over the years, and we've almost been married for 16 years, but I knew him for a few years before. Obviously, I didn't just meet him and marry him, but, but he did propose quite quickly. Um, has has uh, it's not made me who I am today, but like, for example, last night I was deep bobbling his jumper that I had washed, and he said, Oh, darling, thank you so much for doing that. That's so kind of you. And little things over the years he sort of said oh well he came in the other evening and said oh that sauce is absolutely delicious so good really delicious darling and just his kind words has kind of given me the confidence in myself to do what I do today and I know that sounds silly but I was looking back and me 20 years ago, would never imagine that I would put videos out on YouTube, that I would have a podcast, I would have a website, that I would have a members club and I would do all of these things because I was so scared and so nervous. My music teacher at school, who was also the French and drama teacher, 
remember her very well, told me not to let noise come out of my mouth because I was so tone deaf. But because she was also the French teacher, I then didn't let noise come out of my mouth in French either. So I was basically mute for years. And I, I you know, mum is amazing, but my loving, darling husband has given me the confidence in myself to do what I do and share with you guys. And so I just thought I would end this week's vlog on that. And do you know what? I then said to him, got into bed and I and I told him what, my, what I'd been thinking. And I said, you know, darling, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. He just think you don't need to thank me. You know, it's normal to do those things. And I said, no, it really has made a huge difference. And I think it's really important to say thank you. Um, and to, you know, like I don't often say things like that. And so I was like, where's this all come from? And I was like, well, I've just been having a think. And I thought I, I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to let you know really how much you've done for me as a person. So I, yes, just thought I'd share that with you all while I warm up. It really is horrid out there. The dogs are, um, well, look, forgive the fireplace. It's, it needs cleaning out. There's... Oh, there's only one there. There's two. <laughs> two on this chair here, Maud. And Florence has jumped on top of her. Um, snuggling by the fire, keeping warm. Try, gonna try and keep the fire going all day if possible um, because there's no heating on during the day. But anyway, yeah. thank you for tuning in to this week. The end of an era with my car going, but I'm embracing the new the new era. I actually took Simon's car on the school run this morning. I don't love it, but I'm embracing it. Um, I did bash my knee on this sort of steering column, so I had to move that. Really bash my knee. I had to sit there for a moment and rub it, feeling really quite sorry for myself. I have got the world's knobbliest knees, and that one's the one that wasn't even broken. The other one's even knobblier. Um, but I'm embracing change because I think it's you know well you just have to be positive about it yes I am desperately sad that my car has gone but let's put a positive spin on it I've been driving a sporty little number this week and actually it's been quite good fun but anyway I'm sending you lots and lots of love have a great weekend and I will see you again very soon